Welcome back, everyone, to the second uh, Psychology of Well-Being lecture. Um, it's exciting to see everyone back again. Um, hopefully, you guys learned something from taking your happiness measure. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but just to kind of reorient everyone, especially for folks who weren't here the first time, about what we're going to do, um, we're going to go through five different lectures. Last time, we talked all about misconceptions about happiness these spots where you think you have certain goals, but those goals are not going to make you as happy as you think. And today we're going to turn to this question of why our expectations are so bad. Why is it that we think all these things are going to make us happy when, when they won't? And so this is going to be a little bit more of a sciencey lecture, but it's going to be awesome in that it's going to teach you about lots of your biases that lead you astray. And so you're going to kind of see them in action. Um, just a reminder, because I'm being a professor here, I have to check that you guys did your homework <laughs> from last time. And so hopefully you all successfully went through and measured your happiness on the Solomon survey. Everybody measure their happiness. Um, how many folks were kind of surprised that their happiness was lower than they thought? Let me show of hands. A couple folks. Oh, a lot. Um, anybody surprised it was happier than you thought? A couple folks. Ah, so some, some room for movement either way, which is great. Um, this week you have a new uh, homework assignment. These are light because they're just kind of measurement homework assignments. Um, but this time, instead of measuring your happiness, I want you guys to be finding out about your signature strengths. As we're going to learn next time, there are 24 character strengths, which kind of dictate the kinds of things that you're good at, the kinds of jobs you'll like, the kinds of ways you like to spend your time, the kinds of activities that might give you flow. And so you guys are going to find out what your ranked order of these different strengths are. So you go to the strength test, take your strengths test, and when you come next time, um, bring to us your top three strengths. You'll get kind of a ranked list, so write down what one, two, or three is. Um, and if you want to be extra kind of brave and interested in the strengths you need to improve, write down your bottom three, because that can also tell you something you can improve on. Okay, so that's your homework. I'll email you guys so you have the link, but measuring your strengths for next time. Okay, so just a wrap up of where we were before. When we last left, you guys finished up by realizing that all these things that you care about a lot, that you think you're gonna make, are going to make you very happy, are not actually going to make you very happy at all. And I'll just re-put up the list that we keep seeing. Good jobs, lots of money, awesome stuff, true love, perfect body, perfect grades. We make the prediction that these things are going to make us really happy. But in practice, they either don't or they don't make us as happy as we think. And so that was the main take home of last time. All these things that you think are going to make you happy don't make you as happy as you think. And today we're going to walk through why that is. But I thought I would give you a nice word to sum up this take home, a kind of definition of this sort of phenomena of not really thinking the things that are going to make us happy actually do. Um, and it's a term that comes from two researchers, Tim Wilson at the University of Virginia and Dan Gilbert at Harvard. And it's this fantastic term that I love, which is called miswanting. The definition of this is just this act of being mistaken about what and how much you're going to like these things in the future. This is the problem, is that our brains deliver to us this idea that we want certain things, but we are wrong about it. We are constantly miswanting. Right? And today we're going to go through this question of why does this miswanting occur? What is up with our minds that it delivers to us incorrect predictions about what we're going to actually like? What are the biases that cause these? And we saw some hints of what the answer we're going to see this week, last week, because I noted that there are these lots of annoying features of our minds that are messing us up, annoying biases that we seem to have that lead our predictions astray. And we saw one of them last week, which is what I'm going to call annoying feature number one, the first one that you're going to learn about, which is that our minds' strongest intuitions are often not the ones we expect. We sometimes get things totally wrong. Our intuitions are just false. Um, and we can see that in the context of vision. Vision sometimes gives us a nice set of intuitions into our biases. And we saw last time that even though it looks like these two tables are actually different sizes, in fact, the top part of the table is exactly the same size. You saw my fun demo where I stood up and did that last time, so I won't do it again. But basically, we're getting this intuition from a visual system that those two things are different and they're really the same. This is the way lots of our mind works. A lot of the intuitions we're getting are just incorrect. So that's kind of annoying feature number one. I want to put it in the context of the other annoying features you're going to see. The rest of this lecture is going to be focused on three more annoying features that mess us up all the time. Standard ways our minds see things that just don't really work. 
And just like the case of the um, other annoying feature, I want you to see them first in the context of our visual system, again, because it's easier to see our biases that way, because they operate kind of all through the mind from vision to happiness decisions. You're going to see them in that context, and then we're going to apply them in the case of uh, happiness and the typical decisions we make.